Hi everyone, Rina back, finally again. And this episode is about another very special guitar. Let's finally take a look inside. I'm so excited. Okay, this is up. Ooh, it's my first unboxing video, by the way. I'm quite excited. Wow, piece of cardboard. <laughs> Okay, first thing we find is this Squire Welcome card and two keys. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's, let me quickly check if there's something else in the box. No. Get rid of it. So, to the interesting part. Um, as a little disclaimer, you know that I already own a Telecaster in Arctic White from last year, but I had to leave it at my parents' house, so I figured that I wanted to do some mods and, well, this is why I needed a new one. I'll never figure to <laughs> pull it out in one piece. Nice glossy finish. This is my first uh, guitar with a laurel fretboard. Anyway. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have to show it to you and I just <laughs> keep on looking at it. Okay. So the body is a tiny bit thinner than the last year's model. Um, yeah, maybe half a centimeter. It's not so much, but they have this upgrade that I really wanted to have on the other guitar. So here it is, that's nice. I think they've made a, a good job in placing the parts that you see as well. Yeah, I think it's okay. I've seen better, but I've seen a lot worse on more expensive guitars, so I think that's good. There's still a little glue on there that I will get rid of. All in all, the neck will need a little bit of polishing. Almost feels a little bit dry. Yeah, this is definitely a more glossy finish, but um, there's a new design from the headstock, so there's no affinity logo. Okay, let's check the components. So pickups are firmly in place. This is good, I think, but with the position of the pickups and things like that, they've done a better job than in the older model, but I can see that the screws on the pickguard are not screwed in really well. This is also something that you can fix if you mind it. Um, the jack, I've heard that it sometimes is loose, but this is actually fine. And uh, it's even really well aligned, <laughs> which is another issue with budget guitars usually. The magnets align better than on the old models. So I think that this pickup is more up to specs. Okay, let's check out the tuners because these are split shaft tuners. Um, I have to say that I prefer the more modern ones. I think that it's more difficult to put strings on a tuner like this. But I've uh, read that the tuning stability is improved with these, so let's see how they do. Hmm, did you hear that? This is when um, the nut is not slinky enough to let the string really get through. If there's an issue with the tuning stability, it's probably the nut. I have to admit that these feel and turn a lot better than the older ones. Ah. 
and acoustically I think this it sounds great. It sounds better than the old one. Let's take a look at the bridge. Makes a good impression. Let's check out the pots. Uh, it doesn't feel so good. There's definitely some grinding going on. Oh, that's even worse. That's bad. Oh my god, what have they done to this pot? Okay, I will just yeah pull the. Did you hear that? It sounds like a squealing mouse. Ugh, that's horrible. With this, I'm I'm really not impressed. I would have thought that they would do a better job here. So as a quick note, electronics feel worse. Yeah, definitely worse, a lot worse. Also the switch, it feels like there's a lot of friction going on between, yeah, the switching positions. I don't like that. The finish. Let me see if there are any imperfections. I don't see any so far. I think it looks beautiful, oh, really. Ah, here they are, tiny imperfections. Who will ever notice a spot like this not being perfect? I mean, seriously. As for the thinner body, the weight is quite nice. I'm always a tiny bit skeptical when they change bags like this. I mean, the thinner body or non-full body has been around in the Affinity series for ages, so it's, it's nothing new actually. Um, but I still like the, the classic, more bulky feeling of a uh, telly. But I also do enjoy a more modern take on everything. So look at this belly cut. I think they've done an amazing job here. It's really good. Okay, now onto the fretboard. The dots are perfectly aligned really, really well. I've seen so many guitars that are more expensive with a worse job like this. Really good. I'm very sorry I have still pumpkin juice on my fingers. I couldn't get it off. I've tried soap, dishwasher soap and even oil. So if you have a trick or a tip for me how to remove stains from carving a, a pumpkin, please let me know in the comments. Thank you. There are no fret ends sticking out. They've done a good job here. It's really well done. Um, if the frets are really in place and if it needs a fret job, things like that, uh, we will find out in the next video, which will be a really detailed review about this guitar. But I wanted to share with you the moment when I take it out of the box. About the frets, yeah, that's typical affinity that needs some work. Or as some people mentioned in the comments, of course, you can just play it for a really long time. Yeah, and I think that the neck is great in the Net pocket, yeah, maybe a tiny bit too towards this direction. I think the glossy finish is a matter of taste. It needs a proper cleaning, and the neck's backside is 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 really dry. And oh, yeah, can, yeah, you can even see it here. Can you see this? Maybe it's just another residue of glue that I'm feeling here that I don't like. Even here, you have some open grain here tiny bit. Um, it has a beautiful skunk stripe, which isn't standard for a guitar with the glued on fretboard like this. I like the look, it's really nice. The opening for the truss rod is really nicely done. It's not just a drilled hole where you can still get splinters from like I've seen on other guitars. Um, it's, it's really well done. But the truss rod looks good. Let's see, yeah, it looks good. I cannot say that there is much of an adjustment to be done. Let's check how sturdy the neck is. It's good, I think it's good. 
I think this is pretty similar to the last year's model. While I think that the electronic components and the neck is, is worse when it comes to, to the finishing touch. I have to say though that this guitar is a, a bit more expensive than the last year's model. So, but we get um, the neck through body. All right, I think it's time to hook this guitar up. I'll take a short cut and just hook it up with a laptop and just get a general idea on how it sounds. And in another video, I will do again a thorough sound demonstration like I did with the older model. Thank you very much for watching and see you next week. Bye!